Welcome back to Good Day on this Wednesday morning. I'm here with Miss Gina McDonald. She's with the Calico Arts and Crafts uh, show. It's coming up March 16th through the 17th. It's at Spence Field in Moultrie. This is a huge show. You guys have over 300 booths. We do. We do. This is the, actually it's the smaller of the two shows. But You're it's kidding. A, I am not. Oh uh, the goodness. November show, which is the Christmas show, mm -hmm. is the bigger of the two. But this is a fabulous show within its own right. Mm -hmm. A lot of spring decor. We have 200 vendors, 300 booths. Artisans and craftsmen from throughout the southeast or be, will be coming in mm -hmm. and showcasing all their latest and greatest arts and crafts. Let's talk about this bunny right here because yes. this is the cutest thing ever. Look Everybody at needs face. one of these bunnies. If you're looking for some great little um, art to spice mm -hmm. up your front door or a room, this is perfect. Dawn Newburn, who does Lottie Daw Arts and Crafts, oh. she's from Adele, okay. and she does a great job. And every one of these is her designs. That's what makes it unique. Mm -hmm. You won't find any two alike. So just a nice piece to purchase and really just is. a great little home decor. It really is. I love this bow right here. Yes. So cute. Every bit. And now you've brought some other objects I on did. to show us. I did. I did. This piece here is iron, right. and I've had a piece of this before, but this is from Men of Iron, and they actually give away our grand door prize. Oh, wow. So you, anyone who comes can register to win. This is a heavy, heavy piece. It it's great. Like it's a it. candelabra. Okay. Um, they did a set of two last year, a very nice home accent. Underneath, you'll see our festival t-shirt, Imagine, Believe, Create. That's from Jesse July. She does a great job. She does a new t-shirt for every show. And then I also have um, one of the crosses, which was also done by Dawn Newburn. Okay. And she has many, many different designs, pieces. She also has, um, you know, children's art, different things. So sure. she's very creative. And every show she has something different. And that's nice. So you never see the same two things. That's wonderful. And it the is. pieces that you're purchasing are one of a kind, it sounds, as well. That's exactly right. You're supporting a cottage industry. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of our vendors, I mean, they, tr they have day jobs, and this is their wow. second job. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a unique show. We'll have lots of food on site. We'll also have cloggers so you can take a tour of the buildings, take a break, sit outside. The weather's going to be nice. Uh, yes, heard. Enjoy a bite to eat, a funnel cake or two. Enjoy the cloggers and then take in the rest of the show. It's okay. We got to rewind now. Tell us about these cloggers. The cloggers are actually they're clogging groups. Um, they are coordinated through Impact Sudden Impact Cloggers. Mm -hmm. Brian Law does a great job, and they come in from around the area. Okay. And so we'll have various groups from North Florida, South Georgia, and it'll be at every hour on the hour you'll have a different group take wow. the stage. That's amazing. Again, Let's it see. is the Calico Arts and Crafts show. You can go to calicocrafts.com. Yes. We'll be back in just a little bit learning more about it. Chris, over to you. I'm back with Gina McDonald talking about the Calico Arts and Crafts show. It's going to be at Spence Field in Moultrie, March 16th through the 17th. We've been talking about some of the great vendors that are going to be there, but we and we left off talking about cloggers, but how yes. about the food? Lots of food, as you would expect at any festival. It's going to be great. We have the funnel cakes. You've got the mm -hmm. Polish sausages. We also have corn dogs, hamburgers, hot dogs, regular hot dogs. Um, barbecue sandwiches. We've oh, got yeah. a great vendor on site who does some wonderful barbecue. So a little bit of something for everybody. I wouldn't say um, come and try to find something healthy. Not okay. necessarily there. <laughs> Not but the day it, to do that. That's exactly right. Okay. And then of course you've got plenty of things to snack on along the way. The fudge vendors, the you know oh, cookies, my. cakes. We've got a young lady that does all homemade cakes. Oh, wow. So you can take a slice or you can take a whole cake. Sure. So lots of good things there and they're mixed in among Plenty of other arts and crafts mm -hmm. uh, folks. I brought just a little bit of what we have on site, but some of the things that you can expect when you see are floral, um, a lot of children's clothing, okay. which folks look for hair bows, little girls' hair mm -hmm. bows, which are so decorative and cute. Just that one little thing to add to their Easter outfit. You've got homemade or handmade soaps, the candles. Um, of course, uh, mixed in among wood mm -hmm. and just a wide variety of things. There's something around every turn. For the men, there's also the leather belts. Oh, nice. You know, we have a gentleman who does a wonderful job. He can custom make to your size. Of course, lots of jewelry. Jewelry is a wonderful, wonderful category for us. There's lots of fabulous jewelry vendors out there, mm -hmm. but we try to be very selective. Mm -hmm. What makes our show unique is 
if we took every application that we received, we would be overflowing. We take the same amount of space we use for Expo, I okay. declare sometimes. But we try to pick just a little, the best of the best, what we feel like in each category. So you're not just going to see booth after booth after booth mm. of the same item. That's great. And I think that's what people really like. They want to find something unique and different. And so we just try to narrow those sure. decisions for them. That's wonderful. Yes. So it is, it's a juried show. Every vendor that you will see there has submitted um, photos of their craft right. and actually photos of the creation process, which means their studio or them actually making the product. Very good. So yes. Uh, talk about ticketing. Tickets are five dollars per person. Children 12 and under are free with an adult. We're sorry, but we don't allow any pets. Yeah. But uh, there's no parking charge. Plenty of parking, hard surface parking, so you don't have to worry about being, you know, way far away. We try to keep everybody as close as possible. Fantastic. And it is at Spence Field in Moultrie, which is the site of the Sunbelt Expo. Very good. And that's right. going to be March 16th through the 17th. You can go to calicocrafts.com. Again, Jean McDonald, thank you so much for talking thank with you us for this having morning. Me. And we hope it's a great success. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Come see us. Well, we will. Back on over to you, Chris.